What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 3.1 of the tutorial series on AWS Cloud Formation. So guys, in this tutorial, we will go through one of the intrinsic functions that is join function. So basically the intrinsic function join concate or join the given list of values, which will be further separated by a specified delimiter. And in case if we leave the delimiter empty, then the set of values are concatenated with no delimiter, right? So let's try to understand this with an example. So here, as you can see on my screen, I have this template, which basically creates the S3 bucket with the name that user will enter at the runtime, right? So here on line number four, we have defined our parameters and we have only one parameter within that where it says enter S3 bucket name and user will enter certain string, right? So that's parameter. And on line number 12, we have defined resources where we have defined only one resource that is the S3 bucket. Right. And that is something that we want to create with the name that user enters. Right. So that's basically the high level overview of this template. So now here, what I want to do is I want to create the bucket with the name that should include the string that user enters as well as the current region name and as well as the current stack name. Right. So it should join all those values and then it should create the bucket with that name. Right. So now let's look at the syntax of the join function. So join function goes something like this exclamation join, right? Or you can also use something like this F N colon colon join. So this is the short of this join function, right? So we are going to use the short one, right? Join should be followed by space square braces and the very first parameter that it accepts is the delimiter. So for example, I want to join all these values by hyphen or maybe comma, right? So this is how you can define the delimiter. So let's say hyphen. And then uh, there is another list, which will be the list of values that we want to concate or join, right? So it could be anything. It could be a string. So let's say a comma b comma C, right? And the outcome of this would be A hyphen B hyphen C, right? So all these values will be concatenated by the hyphen, right? And in case if I don't define this uh, delimiter and I leave it empty, then the outcome will look something like this, right? That is ABC. So this is the uh, syntax of the join function. And the another way to uh, define or use a join function is something like this, that is exclamation join right enter press tab hyphen then the delimiter right so hyphen represent list right so this first hyphen represent uh, the outermost list that we have defined over here right and then we have the delimiter and then uh, we have another list right so i will say hyphen and within that list i want to define this abc right so it's going to be the space and then a should be double hyphen over here double hyphen a followed by hyphen b hyphen c right so this is the another way that you can uh, define the join function right so this is your delimiter and this is your innermost list values right that you want to concate or join but we will be using uh the one that we have defined on line number 19 right so this looks little bit uh, lengthy and complex so we don't want to opt out for that right so let me comment this so now here uh, i will remove this reference s3 bucket name instead of that what we want to do is we want to use a join function followed by a square braces and the first parameter is going to be the delimiter. So I will say hyphen comma another list. Now here there will be a list of values that I want to combine using hyphen. So let's say the first parameter should be the reference from the S3 bucket name. So it's going to be the string that user enters, right? Comma. Then I want to use region. So here I'm going to use the pseudo parameter to fetch the region. So it's going to be the ref. 
so pseudo parameter is aws colon colon region right and then i want to use the third value that is the stack name so i will say reference again pseudo parameter aws colon colon camel case stack name right so the outcome of this would be let's say if i enter uh something like this abc as the bucket name right or abcd then the second value should be the aws hyphen region so after abcd there should be a delimiter right so it's going to be the hyphen the current region would be us east one followed by again the hyphen the third value or the third parameter that is the stack name so in case if i enter the stack name as a b c d then the outcome string will be like this right and the name of the bucket would be this one right so let's have a look so now let's navigate to the cloud formation once you are there click on create stack now here we will say template is ready upload a template file choose a file i will say s3 underscore join and say next give a stack name so i will simply say a b c d right and then within the s3 bucket name i will say a b c d again say next next again and say create stack so while you create or deploy the stack the naming convention should be followed right but just for the demo purpose i have used abcd just to show you this outcome right so make sure you follow proper naming convention uh, while you create or deploy a stack so now the stack is deployed now let's navigate to resources and now if we look at this physical id or the name of the bucket it looks identical to what we have here right a b c d u s s one a b c d separated by hyphen right if we click on this physical id it will take us to the s3 management console within that bucket right so here we are right here we have this bucket created so guys uh, this is how you can use join function as per your requirement or as per your use case demand right so guys, that's it for this tutorial. And as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below. And I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.